Hey there, everybody. Fet here, and welcome back to Fet Plays RimWorld 1.0. We got X197 here. He's an android from the uh, hills to the uprising. He's only a year old. He's also greedy and abrasive, so he's kind of a jerk. Too smart for his own good, but he's very enduring in battle, so he could be a good fighter. Simple-minded, plus 20%, plus 20 mood, minus 90% social impact. Due to the limitations of this android's mind, they are only able to understand and feel emotion. Barely able to. Okay. So it's always going to be relatively happy. It's even happy with its prison cell. So we're going to try to get it to join us. So the greedy part of it probably won't be that big of a factor then. It's been building rapport with Dismas. Tanya and Senpai. Tanya hasn't been given a name yet, but she will be soon enough. Hey, we got our rec room done. All right. Reinstall this down here. Let's build some more recreational stuff. We don't have the cloth for these yet, but we can slap down some chess tables for us to play. Give us something to do on our days off. So I'm thinking... You know... Just have a couple of them for now. Throw down some chairs to play on. There we go. Get a light in here for the love of Pete. Maybe put a small table here in the corner and put an arc lamp on that. That'll look cool. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. We got a rec room started. Someone's at a minor break risk. I'm, I don't appreciate it that much. Who is that? Tanya, what's wrong? Night Owl in daytime. Well, let's fix that. All right, what are your preferred times? I I'll never remember for Night Owls. You prefer to be if not awake during the day, which is 11 to 18. All right, so sleep from 11 to 18. And then you can do whatever you want the rest of the day. Boom. You'll be fine. All right. And I did already do most of your skills already. So we're good to go there. All right. Once these rooms are done, we're going to slap down some beds in here for a prison. It'll be great. Speaking of prison, prisoner rescue quest. 30-year-old cave world illuminator. Being guarded by five enemies. May never hear from Birch again if we don't go. It's androids again. Hills of the Uprising. I don't think we're ready for another fight. Reynold needs a new hand. Yeah, his, his manipulation. We can see it now. 74%. So, if he had lost half of his manipulation, he would obviously be at 50%. That's if the, his hand was completely missing. So, 75% would mean that his hand is at half capacity. So right now, his left hand is about 50%. Why are we calculating this? Because that means giving him this prosthetic hand with 80% efficiency will give him an increase of about 30% in his left hand. Ipso facto, prosthetic hand is better than a hand that's missing three fingers. Especially if you're trying to wield a sword. How's his armor holding up? 93%? This is almost definitely going to be armor and stuff that we are going to, to work on getting repaired. Alright. Let's slap down some beds for these folks. You know, I kind of want to do beds like here and here. And I know what you're thinking. Why not put them on the bottom so you can put more of them down? But if we do less beds, we can make this place better for them. You know? And then I can actually even put... Look at this. I can go even farther. Because, you know, people are more likely to join you if you have a nice little prison. You know, you put down some stools here. Maybe give them something to do for recreation. Yeah, why not? Getting Aurora going on, it's pretty great. They'll love it. Chess table's going up now. They apparently... And dining chairs. Ooh, look at that. De detachment by Senpai. On his furniture is Senpai, chatting with Scooby Davis, who's now called Derek, while laughing uproariously. 
It's decorated red and black. It's a party from December 9th. December 9th, excuse me, don't get it twisted. Well, good job, Dismas. You weren't just doing that to impress uh, Senpai who was in the room, were you? This room's already considered slightly impressive. Which is good, because they get a mood boost from hanging out in here. Do kind of need to get that table done, though. Dang it, Bob. You goofed it. I saw you goof it. All right, this room is going to be great. I can tell already. Sylvia, how's it going? You're healing up quite nicely, it looks like. Tanya's room is getting finished. Over time. Uh, how are we doing on electricity right now? I mean, it's kind of not fair. The wind turbine's going full blast, so... It's kind of holding us up, no matter what. We have... <coughs> excuse me. 2,500 rice. We might want to call in some traders, is what I'm trying to get at. I think we have far more than we need. Somebody clean this room, for the love of Pete. Uh, Tanya. I know you want to feed sushi to X1. Can you clean this room, please? Thank you. You did at least some of it. Shadow, before you eat sushi, can you, like... There you go. And when you're done, clean up some more. Cool, thank you. Damon's supposed to be doing most of this cleaning. Let's see what he does when he's done playing some horseshoes here. We're talking to X1 still. It's going pretty well, I think. I think I said well, which is like great and well. And it wasn't my intention, but that's what I said. Deconstructing Tesla. Oh, no, don't decon... You damn fool! I want- that was supposed to go on top of the table! Uh. So he's hauling materials to the dresser. That's what he's doing. He's hauling... Let's get you cleaning, my dude. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate your hauling frenzy. You're great at it. But for the love of God, clean. Damon's now cleaning. Okay. We have ascended. This room has gone down to mediocre for some reason. Probably from dirt, actually. Yep, ugly and dirty. That'll get fixed eventually, but for now... We should make this an embrasure and let people shoot out from it. Tear this down as well. Let's uh, go ahead and mine this. Yeah, what is this? Marble? Yeah, we could use that anyway. And then slap a embrasure right here. I think that'll be pretty cool. Alright, this is all gonna be prison. Ain't nobody telling Senpai that we ain't gonna have good prisons. Somebody uh, haul this prisoner. X1 needs to be moved. Uh, Senpai created a... Excuse me? A masterwork wooden table? What's the point? But also cool. JP chatting with Scooby, it's uh, it's that same party. Was everybody like to talk about that party? Was it that good of a party? Probably. Dismiss doing the escorting dance. Thank you very much, sir. Considering you have the rail gun, I don't blame you being the one that does it. You went you just went from a decent prison to a slightly impressive one. Enjoy yourself. I'm sorry that you're uncomfortable, but go sit on a... We have a table for you now. You can solve that. We also have a horseshoe's pen. Alright, you have plenty of ways to make yourself happy. Plus, if they try to leave, they'll probably try to come out this area here. Which means if we want to set up defenses, we could just set up a quick little defense over here. Alright. Rebuild the freaking Tesla lamp. This time, don't deconstruct it, please. Excellent. Dude, with the art. It's me, researching smithing. I like it. I love it. It's called Spider. I don't understand it. But I'm not the artist, so don't get it twisted. Very impressive. Place is a freaking amazing little place. Fantabulous, even. Well, one of these rooms is almost done, at least. 
And, you know, the dressers, the end tables, they're okay. They're not fantastic. Well, that one's excellent. Yeah, what do you think, huh? What do you think of that, this place? Are huh? you a little bit more comfortable now? No? Well, sit down and eat a meal or something. His resist resistance has fallen to 11. He cannot resist much longer. There you go. Now we got some lighting in here. Very little. <laughs> but it's some lighting. Uh, we're going to need some more. That's not enough. Not nearly enough. Hey, this got done too. Cool. Now that that's broken down, slap me up a comms console. There goes most of our components. But that gives us... The plan is for this to give us a path to more components through trades. Which means we're probably going to need some orbital trade beacons as well, now that I think about it. Which takes up more components. So, you know what? Slap me up with them. I'm going to need to do it eventually. This is component city right here. I mean, trade city, I guess. Anyway. Place is looking good so far. Got at least a little bit of light all the way out to here, which is good, but not great. I'd love to put a chandelier in here, but we need to make a little bit of tallow to do that. So I tell you what, let's put in an order to make a little bit of tallow. Yeah. Give us 20 tallow when you get a chance. It wastes the meat, but I mean, who cares? <laughs> I should care, but who cares? Okay. Because then we could drop a couple of chandeliers in there. I'm thinking they're going to be a little fancy. The comps console is go. It is hooked up to power. Senpai has inspired recruitment. If he tries to recruit uh, X1 now, it's going to happen. Tanya, have you been up during the night? Or during the day? Doesn't look like it. Metallic wool parka. It's so itchy, I'd rather not wear it. Then why are you wearing it? Go <laughs> Take off the parka. Don't wear it if you don't want to wear it, you know? I'm not forcing it on you. I mean, jeez. Sorry if you thought I was. Bob over here doing some mining, of all things. Shadow's gonna work on Reynold's new hand. I'm sure with the way he's standing there, they're probably uh, very appreciative about that. Although they did not talk to each other at all. That said, Nutty lovingly rubbed his nose against Reynold's leg. I'm sure that was great. And some more horseshoes getting played, which is also pretty great. Hey, we got that glow flamel. His name is Lola. And it can also haul like everything else. So, you know, I'm happy about that. So I see egg progress. But it also gives me some kind of yellow mass. Which I guess we won't know about until later. All right. Oh, Dominion of Eberron likes us a little bit less. Tempai, I want you to talk to him when you get a chance here. Call him up. I want to see if we can call in a traitor. Or if that's still going to cost us, like, goodwill. Or if they won't do it if they're not an ally. We'll see how that works. Hey, how you doing? Oh, they're already on their way and will arrive in less than a day. Hmm. That doesn't sound right. Oh, you know what? We don't have a guest room. That's why that doesn't sound right. Do I hear fire? Whoa! I do hear fire. Freaking Boomalope exploded. Let's go ahead and just leave that dead. <laughs> did we get tallow? We did. We have, we have wax. Where is it? Right here. Tallow wax. It's literally animal fat. So, now I can build a chandelier. If I had steel! Every time I try to do something... I feel like I get bamboozled. Give me more steel, please. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. You know what? Not too worried yet. 
Because I can still, I can just wait. <laughs> Candelabra doesn't do much for me. I'm really thinking the chandelier is where it's going to be at. Ooh, it also brings a little bit of heat. I guess the steel one is like a better one. Not to mention it's bigger. So I'm thinking eventually I'm going to hang that big old boy right there. And it'll hopefully be pretty great. All right. This room is almost done. Look at that. We got... Bob! Bob, please! Don't do this! So if they're trying to visit, yeah, we need to get... We need to have a place for visitors. Needless to say. I... I mean, I could convert this into a place for guests. You know what? We'll do that after we recruit X1. Prosthetic hand has been made. Reynold! My dude. We're gonna use the best medicine we can and try to give him a better left hand. No medical beds available. I mean, you're not wrong. Oh! The ground runner is running the ground! And by that, I mean... Halt! It's getting it for me! And it's getting 40 per attempt. That's really awesome. Can dig this, this, and this. What about that one behind? Yep, yeah, that can go too. Cool. Not the ones that'll give us the overhead mountain. Not until we can get rid of that. 36. Obviously, Bob is not as good at it. Reynold is waiting a medical operation. Tanya is our best doctor. For some reason. So, she's going to try it. Dude's resistance is dropping like crazy. Really going to eat on that table? Okay, whatever. I'm not here to tell you what to do. You're going to use the medical gel over the medicine? Medical potency, 120. Is that better than medicine? It is. I did not realize this. This gel is actually godlike. Okay. Huh. Come on. 100%. 10 out of 10. What's your surgery chance? Medical operation success chance. 75%. That means it's going to happen successfully every time except other times. But not this time. All right. Now when he wakes up, he should have some decent manipulation. Bob, I don't really I really don't want you to be the one building this. It's going to have a quality to it. And you're going to make it crap. Never mind. It's actually decent. It has 16 beauty. Although you do need to actually Why do you need to put tallow in it if you whatever? Need tallow. Wax. What do you think this is? Oh, Tanya's got it. Thank you, Tanya. Boom! Hey, that lights up the whole dang room almost. Got some spots in the corner here that aren't lit, but everything else is quite lit, fam. All right, I think I'm gonna put it up top so that it looks like it's you know actually hanging from the ceiling. But other than that, it's good. It's really neat. Forty days on twenty tallow. There you go. Still lights up the whole room. Practically. I like it. I like it a lot. Probably more than I should. Alright, X1. We need you to... Item stash quest. Portable charging platform. Flat screen TV. Orion combat vest. We don't know if there's anything there. Oh, it's pretty far away. It's the 3rd of April, by the way. We made it past the first year. There's still this one here, too. That's plate armor. I don't care about that. Four days away. That's a little far for me. I think we're just going to be uh, sitting around the colony for a little while. Got some important stuff to do here, you know? Although, I would like that TV. Don't get it twisted. All right. I love this ground runner, man. All right, still a little bit more we can dig out. 
Caravan request. Seven prosthetic hearts. That's a weird request for a masterwork sawed off shotgun and a bionic animal arm. This is worth more than seven hearts. What? Some weird m freaking missions, man. An exotic goods trade ships passing by the convenient company. Now you're talking my language. Yo, when you're done with whatever you're doing, let's go talk to him. Hey, Tanya's room is done. It's decent. Someone put a roof on it, please. She's literally sleeping in the rain. All right. Hi. How y'all doing? Man, flammels are worth decent money. We're going to sell this emu. I don't think we have... I mean, we could ride on it, but I don't think other than that, it's that useful. We're keeping all the flammels. If you don't like it, you can lump it. They only have 67 silver? What kind of broke-ass company is this? I don't want your alpha poly things. Elephant tusk are easy sells. But I need to buy something to make this work. They've got so little. And even less than I, than I actually want. They have four plasteel? Who are these broke ass dudes? I don't... I don't understand. I guess sell them an elephant tusk and go away. Thanks for the freaking silver, I guess. I don't understand. Why am I in my own room? What happened here? Get back into my original bed. It didn't make any sense. All right, a marble embrasure's up too. Okie dokie. Just gonna put this little uh, roof area right there for people to stand and aim. Don't get it twisted, it'll be pretty great. Power draw is still looking okay. Maybe not amazing or fantastic, but okay. Hey! This is all done. Okay. So now we can mark this whole thing as a home area. Everything at least inside the walls. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's set up some defenses over here. Okay. I'm thinking I want to actually embrace your all of this corner. And then we can have some classic defensive spots. Throw down some bridge. Wherever needed. Basically. Gonna need more wood again. But that's alright. And we'll do the same thing down here eventually. More wood. Good thing we're in a forest. Not that you would know it from looking up here. Oi. Man. Let's knock out the burn trees. Should help, you know, regular trees grow back. Or so I hope. Let's also make more fine meals. Let's aim for 50. I like the idea of a little bit more. Can you put sand... <coughs> Excuse me. Can you put sandbags or shields? On top, you can. Ooh, even sandbags. So you can put sandbags and shields... <coughs> in front of... Or on top of bridges. I have ideas for that. Yes, I do. Do we get freaked out from dead androids? Actually, don't think we do, but I don't know for sure. XL is really close to joining us, man. 
I mean, I guess if you can eat off the table, eat off the table. I'm not going to complain. Come on, dude. Oh, so close. It's all right. We're going to get you soon. You won't even believe it. It's going to be around here. He's going to be basically, from what I understand, androids. Even though this one's not fantastic. Less needs than humans. You look at over here. This is the big one. Rest. Androids don't need to rest. They just need fuel. As long as you keep giving it fuel, an android will keep going on. Kind of like Bob. Except an android can actually learn skills. Not like Bob. And this one's not a construction bot anyway. It's going to be... Animal taming bot? Artist bot, I guess? Definitely don't want to do social, even though it's interested. Research could be good. Teaching how to shoot could be useful. There are things it can do. Is that a pineapple? That is a pineapple. Harvest the pineapples. Why not? I'm not a pineapple fanatic, but... I'll take some free food, you know? Beautiful. Ugh. Tanya and Dismas started fighting. Dismas sniggered at Tanya's family background. Well, why'd you do that, Dismas? You freaking jerk. At least they're training their melee as they're doing this. Oh, man. That was a bite. Oof. Bit Dismas with her teeth. Mighty right fist. Oh, gee. Oh, my God. They're actually... They're beating the crap out of each other. And he finally knocked her down. Jeez. Did you knock her down with a headbutt? Dismas smashed Tanya, smashing her torso and leaving the area visibly deformed. What the hell, guys? Jeez, that came close to actually killing her. Yo, Mystic. I know you want to consume fine meals, but maybe when you're done... Ah, Sylvia's got it. Reynolds picking up all her stuff. You dinguses? I'm not too concerned about the... About using medicine for that. We got plenty of heal root. There's even some left to harvest. I love all PCs to be having more fun... Picking up rice. Because God knows we need more of that. Come on, X1. 4.9. We want you, dude. You're wanted around here. I assure you of that. All right. So all of the embracers are up and running. Good. Good, good, good. Tiny's missing her primary weapon. She can grab it later. We'll do the same thing down here. Probably not down here. I'm not sure what we'll do down here yet. And then, of course, we already got a defensive area over here. Oh, hey, we got a little bit more uh, steel here as well. And one more spot right here. The rest of that is overhead mountain. I want to avoid it because I want to avoid angering the bugs if possible. If it's not possible to avoid angering them, then, well, I guess we're just kind of screwed, aren't we? Kind of thinking of putting up a door here, too. Or I guess I should say a gate. There's an eclipse. Well, we're not really... Doesn't help our plant situation, but we're not really dependent on that for other things. Could make a steel gate. Could have 700 hit points. I'll just put a gate over here. Wall that up. It's an idea. Better than curtains. <laughs> At least in theory. I mean... I mean, there are things I'm sure that we have 50 of. That we can make curtains out of. Light leather, of course. Elephant leather. Rhino leather curtains. Anyone? No? Okay. Could totally make it, though. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the eclipse. Still 4.9. We're gonna get there, man. Senpai's still inspired, but he just won't... He won't talk to him. 
Instead, you got Dismas coming over here giving him sushi. There you go. Yeah, let's talk about vomiting. That sounds like a good way to get him to join the colony. At least he gets to sit on a chair while he eats. But I mean, he's really happy. I just realized that there's no light in here at all. Uh, we could throw down a little, few little lamps in here, you know? Yeah. Like one here. Probably give this room a little bit of power. There we go. Then we'll throw a lamp over here as well. There you go. That should do it. I didn't realize that before. My mistake. Anyway, that mistake's going to mark the end of this episode. If that plays Rim World 1.0, this was some time here a little roughed up, but otherwise, we seem to be doing okay. Thank you again for watching this episode of That Plays Rim World 1.0. My name is Thet. Reynold here with his prosthetic hand at 90%, which is pretty darn good. We'll see you in the next video.